the Volvo Centaur is another in the range of Volvo concept models, which are Volvo's visions for machines of the future. The Centaur is an articulated hauler, and it comes in a standard uh, Volvo branded box, with the model held between uh, a pair of plastic formers, and included with it is a handy leaflet, which uh, has got some instructions about the model on the inside. Just the simple graphics. And there's also some interesting information about the design concepts behind the Centaur. It's easy just to pop the model out, and the only other piece uh, in the box is uh, a small kind of a ski, and I'll tell you more about that shortly. The Centaur certainly looks futuristic, and the cab particularly, and the model has uh, some detailing at the front, including the lights. The wheel machine has electric motors in each of the wheels, and the model um, has an interesting wheel design, almost looks a bit like a sports car, but the tyres are rubber. And one other detail is the blue line on the body, which is supposed to represent a laser sensing device for people and objects. Because each wheel will have its own um, electric motor, it means that every single wheel is fully independently sprung. And that's modelled very well on the model, uh, with lots of movement on each of the individual wheels. And it rolls along quite nicely too. Um, and as you can see, it, uh, it pivots to uh, represent steering. The access arrangements are interesting. Some steps fold down at the front and the windscreen lifts up so the operator can get in, although on the model the windscreen doesn't stay up. Um, and in fact, on the real machine, the concept is that the uh, front part will actually kneel down to let the operator in. Another interesting feature is the tipping body. Um, which can tip right up and the model can hold that pose when the body's tipped. Although there's no hydraulic cylinder to hold it, so obviously the concept has a, an interesting way of tipping the body. There's a tailgate which opens at the back. And the interesting feature is that the body is uh, telescopic so that it can force the material out when it's tipping. And uh, that's deemed to improve the center of gravity of the machine, keep it lower whilst it's undergoing the uh, tipping maneuver. If we now flip the model over you can see that the details are really quite basic although maybe the real machine will be like that um, but the interesting feature is that there's a small pin which you can just release at the pivot point and when you take that pin out you can then separate the cab from the trailer and of course when you do that the cab just flops down because it's only on two wheels but the real machine will um, actually be able to balance by using gyroscopes and computers. On the model you get this little plastic ski which doesn't clip in the bottom but you can just place it on the bottom and if you position it carefully you can uh, set the cab to look like it's standing up which is quite uh, interesting and unusual and you can even drive it along a little bit if that's what you'd like to do. Here, using the magic of Cranes Etc technology, is how the tractor would appear in real life. And there's the Cranes Etc team member swearing to his girlfriend that he's not on the drink again. When you're done, reattaching the tractor to the trailer is a simple matter. You just uh, kind of plug it in and use the pin and you can join it back together again. The Volvo Centaur is an interesting and unusual model and it's quite well made. In common with the other Volvo concept models, it is uh, relatively expensive for a 1 to 50 scale model. Uh, but if you can put up with the unusual looks and you want something that's uh, really just a little bit different, then it's got enough going for it to be highly recommended.